Hello lovelies, welcome to your August readings um, on this beautiful day um, at the beginning of July. It's Lorian here and I'm just going to be bringing you these readings for each sign. You can check out your rising, your sun and your moon sign if necessary or if you feel like it. Um, the good news is that my noisy neighbours, my very noisy neighbours, have actually gone on holiday now for a week. So I'm able to bring you these videos very early um, because it's all nice and peace and quiet and I don't have to do this in spits and spots. So that's wonderful for me. Hopefully it's going to give you enough time to prepare for August as well. If you'd like to contact me for a personal reading, my email's below. I would love to hear from you. And as always, your subscriptions, your comments, your likes, everything that you interact with with regards to me on my Facebook page and my Twitter it's very appreciated the response has surpassed anything that I intended when I actually brought out this channel so I just want to thank you all I am sorry that again I don't have a video camera things keep cropping up regarding bills and things so I do apologize for that but so long as the message is getting out there and so long as the readings are still resonating with people I am going to continue to do it this way at least until I'm able to get a better webcam at least which is actually able to fine tune and fine focus the actual footage of the cards so thank you for your patience with me thank you for sticking with me and listening to my guidance every month and I do hope that August is very good for your sign, whichever you are. Hello lovely Sagittarius, thank you for tuning in to your August reading for 2015. I have four cards laid out already before me for a week approximately each for August and then the Oracle card at the bottom giving off the general reading and the message. So the Queen of Cups in the first week for you is a very strong omen. I believe this is to say that you will be feeling more emotionally in control. You are preparing, I believe, to give birth to a new idea. You are preparing to give something out there or get yourself going and sending out your energies to somebody or something who needs it. You may not realise it, but there is a very healing energy around you now. And this is bringing forth... A lot of maternal or paternal instincts within you. There's a sense that you do need to kind of bring in this parental influence. And maybe it is to nurture your innermost thoughts. It is to nurture your hopes and your anticipation for what life is yet to bring you. Because Saturn is actually coming into your sign in September. It's going to stay there for two years. And with it will bring a lot of different things. It is going to bring a lot of challenges and emotional ups and downs for you. So I think this is the month that you can prepare for September. September is a very big month. It's a very promising month in regards to energy. And lots of changes are going to happen. So this is kind of the time that you karmically get ready and kind of do a cosmic clear out so you arrange everything and you clear everything away from you if need be to kind of make sure that things are on their way for you in the more positive vein now she is you know the, the queen of cups is affectionate because she's emotional she's the balance um to the king so despite her open nature i do think that you will still find her presence to be quite strong because she is still there um, within you, this is not, I think, a physical person. I do believe this is a self-awareness aspect that you will be kind of holding counsel with yourself. Uh, you're going to be doing a lot of talking to yourself, finding out what you need from your path, what you need to really bring to the table in many ways. And this is going to be quite um, an emotional time for you in many ways. The Knight of Cups in the second week does encourage you to remember that victory is on its way. But it's not just, I would say, an exercise in, you know, battle. I think it's achieved through a savvy mind and cleverness, which you definitely have. You have that in abundance. So I think you need to let go of the flights of fancy. I think that you need to really focus your energies. New initiatives and new ideas are on your way. You know, um, but I think that you need to 
have faith in the fact that no matter how weird you like things to be sometimes or varied that you like to invite into your life, definitely try and maintain your focus in this area because the Eight of Swords shows you that things are beyond your control and I think you may be actively being held back by some of them. So this can be something as personal as a bad boss or as sweeping as international politics. So in any case, you're likely to be finding your options restricted at every turn. And you may be experiencing a rising frustration in that, anxiety. So I think the best course of action lies with the only thing that you can control. And that's you. You can control your actions. So approach any situation in this third week with patience. And then be ready to move when the situation changes with the flight of fancy and the knight of cups in the second week. So you still can carry that energy over, but just be prepared to wait. The obstacles here will be overcome by your courage, but they will also be overcome by patience. So don't give in to the demands of others who are locking you up and restricting you from growing in that way. I do think you have the opportunity to move. And the page of ones as well. This seems to be quite important for you. You may tend towards being stubborn and opinionated. I think it represents you in the spread here. I think it is you. Um, but it's also indicative of a strong analytical skills and energetic nature too. So I do feel like you are going to identify the core of some issues in this month or this week. You are going to be assessing your own stance on them. And this is going to allow you to become an excellent negotiator. And I do feel that overall your abilities are going to come through here. Unexpected news is coming through as well. So this could actually be somebody or something to assist you with these long-term goals and these long-term effects. And this is definitely something that I feel you should pay attention to because it does seem like it's going to be presented in a very unique and original way. You may also be using the sword here to cut off anything that no longer means something to you. However you do it, you will certainly feel the benefit of it and be able to go into September with certainly a different aspect of understanding of yourself. Because as soon as you cut that thing free or cut the feeling of responsibility and the feeling of helplessness from your life, by almost accepting other things, you are going to progress in a much more fluid way, you are going to hold even the sword of truth, and you are going to go into September when Saturn arrives, and really see the results of what's coming in for you. This is something that I think has been on the cards for quite a long time, but now you're just seeming to get around to it and appreciate the benefits of this and certainly if you look at the oracle card with the door to personal healing and happiness right there this is gonna this indicates to me that it's overflowing for you you have a potential to almost release yourself from the bungee cord that's preventing you from reaching the door so i feel like responsibilities or something that you feel you can't control is holding you back right now when that passes, or when you cut yourself free, you'll be able to reach forward, close in those extra few feet, get to the door, and open it. Because it's so... It, it, basically, the potential that I'm seeing in this card is brilliant. This is something that I think you can really achieve in the next few weeks. Certainly in December, when Saturn comes uh, back into your sign, it's going to be pinpointing things that maybe you've overlooked... And it's going to be really a hard taskmaster in some ways. If you've been giving into flights of fancy willy-nilly and not really caring about things and stuff like that, then you're going to feel the effects of that when Saturn comes back in. But on the opposite, you may find that the discipline it brings is going to assist you in whatever endeavour that you want. Um, so the main feeling from this card in the Door to Personal Healing and Happiness it is there, it's possible for you, even though some other people may come back and say, actually, no, it's not, you know, you, there's a lot of doubters. Just ignore them. Cut them out of your life. You don't have to be nasty with it, you know. It's, it's Cutting somebody out doesn't necessarily mean cutting them with your tongue. And some people occasionally forget that. So, on a human-to-human -human level, 
you just need to make sure that your energies are not being dragged down by these people and that is going to enable you to move forwards the intuition of this month you start with is going to be so exalted that I would say it's going to carry on through so just make sure that you keep up that momentum but I'm certainly interested in having a look at what Sat uh, sorry September holds for you and in the meantime if you would like me to take a look at anything personal for you I do have a lot of um, options on my website give me an email or have a look at Etsy if you want something ready made for you um, but as soon as I see that you've purchased something that I will be in touch but keep up Keep up the good work in August. There's a very strong feeling that people are going to be around you and supporting you. But if they're not, you don't need to bother with them. Go on your own pace and go on your own um, gut feeling. So it's going to be a good thing and you are going to get through it. But take care of yourself, Sagittarius. And I look very forward to seeing what comes up for you in September.